Hold up. Let me do a little mail call. <clears throat> this one's going to be exciting to open. Well, both of them are. Look at how this one is taped up. That is crazy. A little comic crazy. Just doing a little mail call. Got some cool stuff today. This is just nuts. I don't want no dust getting in there. What up? What up? All right, let's open this first one. <laughs> this one is right up my alley. It won't probably be up anyone else's alley, but to me, I'm super stoked. They got it taped together or something? What's going on here? Oh, they just have... Two bag of boards in there. Oh, he signed it. That's rad. A fellow Bigfoot uh, guy actually made a comic book. That's pretty cool. That's rad. I saw it and I was like, I want it. That's way cool. Can't wait to read it. That's dope by Bob Beeson. That's pretty cool. Signed it too. That's dope. But this one, this one's cool because I actually did this challenge. This, it's from the hundreds of days of making comics. And let me see if I can just. Cut anything. But, uh, I. I better just cut it. You guys be laughing at me in the background for not knowing how to open this shit up. But uh, the 100 Days of Making Comics group, um, like, cause I'm an artist and stuff, so like I did the 100 Days of Making Comics challenge, and then they also do an anthology book. And that's what this is. And they just ran a successful Kickstarter. And I'm getting what I pledged. And I wasn't able to get last year's book. So I... Oh, nice. He threw in a print for me of his own work. That's dope. What up, D? The tape really close. But there's so many talented artists that are a part of this project, like. It's so dope. I'm super stoked to finally get 
this book. I'm hoping that I get to be a part of next year in the next book. All right, first is book one. So before it was a, uh, I think the theme was life in space. And I'm not sure how many artists they had. That is a thick comic book. It's like a trade paperback. Holy crap. But it's just a whole bunch of artists getting together and their theme is just life in space. That's so rad. That's way cool. Now it looks like they sent some other stuff. A little bookmark. Life in Space poster. Wish there was another way to ship those to where they don't get folds in them. They use some cards. Well, it looks like every artist has their own card design. That's cool. I think I totally just looked at those off. Off camera wasn't it? Yeah, boy. What kind of sucks about the posters being folded? A nasty crease right down the The print by Mike Emirates. Pretty damn cool. I'm gonna hang that up. And now for the second book of the anthology. It is titled Werewolves and Unicorns. It is a big, thick book. Holy crap. Just squatch right on the cover. That's pretty rad. Pretty damn cool. What up, JB? I just uh, did a mail, uh, open up some mail. I, uh, I backed this from the 100s. Um, it's a group, the 100 Days of Making Comics, and uh, they have a challenge, you know, every day you work on it, and your comic and everything, but they also do an anthology book. So, 28 artists joined in and each tell a different story and it's all themed under werewolves and unicorns and other mythical creatures so it's like super rad for 
you know, upcoming artists and stuff like that. This is volume two. I just got it and I opened up volume. I have volume. I didn't get a chance to get volume one when it first started. Oh, the poster's folded. Oh, oh this one's folded too. Pretty cool poster of all the characters in these books. done the challenge I hope to be in the next book super cool cover cool throwback to the old EC comics and stuff and then my buddy sent me a print Squid win. Cool print. And this was volume one of the hundred days of making comics. Life in space. Pretty thick. Anthology just like the other one. It's pretty damn cool. <coughs> I got a package where I got the old one and the new one. This one I'm super stoked. The cover is dope as hell. Super stoked. Yeah, those books are rad. And I also got Crypto Legends signed by the artist Bob Beeson. Jammed up. What up, BNB? What's going on? Just did a little mail call. Opened up a new Bigfoot book I got, and the artist signed it for him. Pretty stoked. <clears throat> got this dope print from my other buddy, who's a part of these <clears throat> anthology books. Uh, not right now. Um, I think we're going to order them for next week and stuff. And then we're going to do the show on Foo's channel. damn rad. I'm stoked. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get this poster. Oh man, I wish they would have sent it a different way so you didn't have those creases. It's pretty rad. The hundreds the person that did the cover on this one uh, was Scott Circling. He does a comic book uh, called The Young and the Dead. And I have all four of those issues too. It's like Goonies and Zombies. Um, but these are anthology books. So there's like... 28 different artists they all send in like a four page story and they you know keep to the theme this last year or the year before was life in space and then this year's theme was werewolves unicorns and other mythical creatures they're super dope there's a lot of artists in here different stories all having to do with like mythical creatures or Werewolves, unicorns, you know, like, some people really stuck to it, but, like, there's a Bigfoot one in here. Yep. Super rad, super rad. Uh, 
know this. Mike Emirates is his name. Um, I'll tag you on his page so you can check out his store. This is super dope. Squid Wing. Yeah, I'll tag you in his stuff, dude. He He's cool. He's the guy that uh, was the editor on this book. Super cool guy, too. And he has a whole lot of other art and stuff like that that you'd be able to check out. So I'll tag you. He's, he's dope. He's a super nice guy, too. Alright, y'all. I'm going to get this packed up and start working on some stuff. <coughs> appreciate you watching <clears throat> if you haven't go follow the 100s on Instagram you type in the 100s and you'll see them pop up and you'll see the little 100s of comics sign up y'all have a good one thanks for watching oh.